Welcome to day 18 of our 21 day fast. So throughout this fast, we're believing that God will empower, encourage and equip us as we journey to the way ahead. But this fast isn't meant to be done alone. It's meant to be rooted in community. So each day we're going to talk and we're going to pray together. So we're going to get started in day 18. So let's look at our journal. Pray for people who don't have a relationship with Jesus in Jack's Beach, in your city, region, and state. And pray that we would be for our community because God is for our community. Pray by name for the people in your life who don't know Jesus. So why would we pray as believers for our friends and our family and our community that don't know Jesus? I was thinking about that this week as I was thinking about talking with you guys and I was thinking we should do that. We should look to Jesus. And so we're gonna to look to Jesus because Jesus actually prayed for those who didn't know him and for those yet to come into the family of God. So we're gonna look at John um, chapter 17 and we're gonna take a couple of selections out of that. And um, we're gonna just see his heart and his nature um, for those yet to come. So Jesus has um, finished the work of the Father. This is right before he gets crucified. It says, this is what Jesus prayed as he looked up into heaven. Father, the time has come. Unveil the glorious splendor of your son so that I will magnify your glory. You have already given me authority over all people so that I may live <clears throat> so that I may give the gift of eternal life to all those that you have given to me. Eternal life means to know and experience you as the only true God and to know and experience Jesus Christ as the son whom you have sent. And then Jesus prays for his disciple, the people that he had walked closely with. And he says, um, this is starting in verse eight. He says, in the very words you gave me to speak, I have passed on to them. They have received your words and carry them in their hearts. So with deep love, I pray for my disciples, for all who belong to me now belong to you, and all who belong to you now belong to me as well. And my glory is revealed through their surrendered lives. But now I'm returning to you. So Father, I pray that they will experience and enter into my joyous delight in you so that it is fulfilled in them and overflows. I have commissioned them to represent me just as you have commissioned me to represent you. And then this is the best part. Jesus prays for those like you and I, that were yet to come. And so it says, and I ask this, and I ask not only for these disciples, but also for those who will one day believe in me through their message. You will live fully in me, and now I live fully in them, so that they will experience perfect unity, and the world will be convinced that you have sent me. For they will see that you love each one of them with the same passionate love that you have for me. Father, I ask that you allow everyone that you have given to me to be with me where I am. Then they will see my full glory. You are my righteous father, but the unbelieving world has never known you in the perfect way that I know you. I have revealed to them who you are, and I will continue to make you even more real to them so that they may experience the same endless love that you have for me, for your love will now live in them, even as I live in them. And so this is amazing to have this prayer from Jesus because we see his heart and we see his nature not only for the people that he walked closest in life with, but for those that he cared about, those that didn't yet know him, or those that didn't know him, they were yet to come into the family of God. And so that's why we pray for those that don't have a relationship with Jesus. So let's do this, let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for your heart and for your nature in this prayer. That before you were about to be um, condemned to the cross and face that trial, but then come victorious, we see that your heart and your nature, that you were focused on others, that you were concerned for others. And so we pray for our communities. We pray our communities see and experience you in us and through us and around us. We share your heart and your nature for our families, our friends, our neighbors, and the strangers that we interact with to see and experience you above all. But if by means through us, would you be glorified? We see your work at hand in our hearts. Sanctify us, refine us as we submit to you, your will, and your divine authority in us, through us, and around us. We pray for your protection. Jesus, we take from your example, and we pray for our community, our family, our friends, our strangers, the people that we interact with, because your word says that you always live to make intercession for them. And so we live for you, and we want to take from your example. We want to live to pray for them also. Father, just as we humble ourselves and we quiet our, ourselves and our hearts and we just get in this time with you for these next few moments today. Jesus, we submit our thoughts captive to you. Help us to hold them captive. Holy Spirit, would, as we open our hearts and as we open our minds and our souls to your supernatural filling, would you pour into us the Father's heart? For you tell us in John that you didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but you came to save it through Jesus. 
Help us to rest knowing that the verdict is in. Light has come into the world. Help us to be a beautiful reflection of your light, Jesus. And Jesus, we give you thanks for this prayer. We give you thanks for showing us what your heart was, what your nature was, the things that were on your heart, that were heavy on your heart, that people would know the Father, that they would be in a relationship with you, that they would understand and experience your love eternally in here. And so we thank you for this gift. And we pray for those that are yet to know you. And it's in your mighty name that we pray. Amen. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour. Thank you.